Hey everyone, Demonite here, and in this video I wanted to talk about grenade damage a little bit. And that's because I still see some misconceptions about grenade damage and splash damage, and in general what kind of damage both Exton and Creek boost. So this video is just going to be a little information video for those of you who still aren't sure what grenade damage actually is. Um, so grenade damage basically can come in three forms in this game. Um, which are obviously grenades, then TDR reloads, and splash damage of weapons. There are some exceptions like Creek's Buzzaxe throw or the Cradle Shield or some other shields, which also get grenade damage, but in general it's going to be grenades, um, splash damage, and TDR reloads. So let's start with grenades here. Um, so I have a few grenades here with me, and I guess we'll start with the Bouncing Betty one. So the Bouncing Betty has an impact damage, or the grenade damage, of 290, as you can see here. So this is the impact damage, as you can see here, 290. And it's also the damage of each of those projectiles which come out of the grenade. So you can see all those 290s popping up and the rest is just the damage over time. So um, if we put on a Grenadier Comb here, you can see the impact damage does get increased, as well as each projectile. So all of those projectiles deal grenade damage and not weapon damage. Um, and they also don't get boosted by a B shield, as you can see here. They are still doing 320 damage, so that's pure grenade damage right there. So let's unequip that. Um, there we go. And next is the Singularity grenade here, so the Singularity um, this is the um, the singularity damage, not sure what to call it. It's just um, about 5% of the actual impact damage, which you can see here. 3164, which it also says on the grenade. So that's your impact damage and the singularity effect will roughly be 5% of that. Um, and if we, we equip a Grenadier Comb here, you will see that the Singularity damage doesn't get increased, only the actual impact damage. Um, I'm also not sure why I'm backing off here, these are low level items so I can't even hurt myself. So yeah, those are Singularity grenades. And now we come to area effect grenades, like a Tesla right here. So a Tesla... Um, this Tesla has an impact damage of 1,286, so you can see that here. And then it has the area of effect damage, which is 258. So you can see that there, the other numbers are just the shock damage over time. And if we equip a Grenadier Com, you can see the impact damage got increased as well as the area of effect damage. So again, this is pure grenade damage right here, and not actually um, damage over time. Because if it's just no boost, you can see it's 258. And if we equip a shock trooper, which increases the damage over time, you can see it's still 258. The only thing that will get boosted is the actual damage over time, so do those... Um, 199 there, or something like that. So, these don't deal um, damage over time. The area of effect doesn't deal damage over time. But there are some grenades which rely on damage over time, rather than uh, grenade damage. For example, the Pandemic or the um, Breath of Terramorphos. But those are just some exceptions and area of effect damage um, grenades in general will rely on grenade damage. 
And other grenades like normal grenades or transfusions or MIRF grenades, I actually don't have one right here, but those will all just deal pure grenade damage. So moving on to Telio reloads now. So Telio reloads are pretty simple. Um, the reload of a Telio weapon will just deal grenade damage. So as you can see that's 257 and if I equip a Grenadier Com, you can see that's 283. So grenade damage does boost the reload damage of um, of Tidio weapons, the bullets um, will just stay the same. So it just boosts the reload, obviously. Uh, but another factor which increases or decreases your damage will be the bullets left in your magazine. So, as you can see here, if I have 27 bullets left, it's 257. And if I just shoot out a few here, you can see it's much less. Um, and if I have a SMG with more bullets, you can see it's more. So both magazine size and grenade damage will affect your TDR reload damage. Um, the only exception for this are TDR rocket launchers. They still depend on whether you have more or less rockets left in your rocket launcher but they actually don't deal grenade damage. So as you can see here, I have two rockets left and if I reload it, it's 556. Five, and if I equip a Grenadier Com, it will still be 556. Five, but if I only have one rocket lo left, it's going to be less. So rocket launchers just depend on um, your magazine size. Um, but there's one exception to rocket launchers, which is the legendary bunny rocket launcher, which does in fact deal grenade damage, but um, that's pretty much the only exception because it's the only unique TDO rocket launcher in the game. Alright, and last but not least, splash damage. So splash damage is a bit more complicated. Um, basically there are two types of splash damage. Um, the first type is grenade splash damage, which as the name already says, gets boosted by, gen by grenade damage. And then there's gun splash damage, which um, is the direct opposite, doesn't get boosted by grenade damage. So first let's talk about grenade splash damage. Um, so I have this Torx slapper pistol here, which does 602 damage, and if I shoot it at the test dummy, you will see that's a lot more than 602, that's um, twice as much to be precise. So um, Torque pistols have 100% splash damage. So as you can see here, if I don't shoot directly at him, I will deal as much damage as is listed on the weapon card, and if I directly shoot at him, I will deal twice as much damage. So the projectile itself does deal um, 602 damage and then the splash damage does also deal 602 damage which equals 1204 but it's 1203 right there because weird mathematics going on I don't know um, but it's 100% splash damage um, then if we hit a critical hit on this you can see um, only the projectile damage can score critical hits. The splash damage will still be 602. So, what's also kind of special about grenade type splash damage is that it gets boosted by amp shields. So, if I don't shoot directly at him, you can see that's 1826k, which is as much as is. Um, listed on my B shield right here. And if I shoot directly at him, you can see that's twice as much. So both the projectile and the splash damage get amp damage, which means um, weapons with uh, grenade splash damage get twice as much out of an amp shield. So let's de equip this and move on to 
uh, gun splash damage. So I have these two torque assault rifles here. One is the Lance and one is a torpedo. And the Lance um, is a weapon which has grenade splash damage. Um, on torque assault rifles that would be 90% splash damage. So if I shoot him that's 805 and if I don't shoot at him or don't directly shoot at him you can see that's roughly 90% of the base damage. So uh, if I take out my torpedo here you can see on the weapon card it has 1102 damage and if I shoot directly at him you can see that is the damage listed on the weapon card and if I don't shoot directly at him it's still the same damage number so this right here is um, gun splash damage and the reason for that is because this weapon um, doesn't shoot out a bullet but instead a rocket um, if you can see that here that's a rocket so um, one basic rule you could set up for this is that projectiles um, which are bullets and have splash damage are grenade splash damage um, weapons and weapons which shoot out everything else in terms of projectiles will have gun damage projectiles but um, the pattern in what weapon gets and what weapon doesn't get grenade type splash damage it's pretty weird because there are a lot of exceptions. Um, for example, all Mali One pistols um, will deal grenade type splash damage, except for the little EV, which does deal uh, gun type splash damage. Then we have uh, Talk barrel assault rifles like the torpedo here in general, which deal gun type splash damage. But um, the Kerr Blaster, for example, has a has an extra projectile, which does deal grenade damage. The main projectile doesn't, however. And then we have just a few more examples. Um, then we have splat guns, which are e tech shotguns, which um, have gun types flash damage, all of them, except for unique versions of them like the Ratcher or the Omen, which have grenade types flash damage. Um, then we have plasma casters, which all have grenade types flash damage, except for banded ones, which have gun types flash damage. So, yeah, as you can see, that's um, there's no really basic rule to which weapon will have grenade damage. Um, excuse me, grenade splash damage and which weapon will have gun splash damage. So I will leave a link in the description below where some weapons are listed as whether having grenade splash damage or not having grenade splash damage. Um, the list doesn't include all weapons sadly, but um, most of them and if you aren't sure if a weapon does or does not get boosted by grenade damage, you can just look it up there. Um, so, I think you can already see this is kind of the topic where the misconceptions are coming from. And I should also probably show you guys um, gun splash damage will only get the B boost once, not twice. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the topic where all the misconceptions are coming from because. I've seen some people saying um, Exton boosts explosive damage, which he doesn't. Exton just boosts grenade damage. And most TORC weapons will have grenade damage, uh, splash damage. But not all of them. For example, the Flacker or Flacker doesn't get grenade damage, um, the Carnage. Do doesn't do either. The sword explosion main projectiles don't, only the extra projectiles um, will deal grenade damage and so on.
So uh, the reason why you will still see these weapons being recommended on Axton uh, is because Axton also has a lot of basic gun damage boosts um, and doesn't rely on critical hits. So weapons like the Carnage which can score critical hits or weapons like the Flecker which are pretty hard to score critical hits with um, will still work pretty well with him. But they do, in fact, not get boosted by his grenade damage skills. Um, and then we have Krieg, who boosts explosive damage in general. And he has a skill which boosts grenade damage, but that's a kill skill which activates on a melee kill and the only thing you could do with that is either a raid boss kill or um, a melee build so you can um, boost your bus axe throw as I said that counts as grenade damage but other than that that won't be active so um, theoretical Krieg does boost grenade damage but since that skill is very rarely um, active uh, you will just boost explosive damage. So that's kind of where the misconceptions are coming from and I hope this kind of helped you guys a bit to know um, exactly what grenade damage is and in what situations in the game it occurs. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.